First of all, uh, I am very happy to be here. It is my honor and it's my pleasure that I am talking amongst you. Um, and everyone has, its, has his or her own journey in this exam. And I first of all congratulate you that you are a part of this journey. So a big round of applause for everyone. <laughs> Uh, let me introduce myself first. Uh, my name is Pulkit and uh, I am from Rotak, Haryana. And I just got uh, UPSC rank 65 in CSC 2021. And it was my first attempt. Um, just a little bit brief background about myself, my education. Uh, I did aerospace engineering from IIT Bombay. And uh, I continued my preparation while I was working in Jaguar Land Rover, Bangalore. So it was a great journey, uh, as much as everyone would agree here, even the, sel the selected candidates. Uh, I think the selection or the non-selection is not the issue. Uh, the, the point is that the story, story so far from the point where everyone starts preparing for the exam and to the date where the exam ends. That journey has to be memorable. I think that is the main uh, thing to be remembered. And that has happened, uh, that is happening with me uh, right now. And this process has given me so many learnings, uh, not just about the UPSC exam, but about life in general uh, because I was able to apply whatever everyone has experienced in their lives, whatever learnings they have learned in their past, uh, even the great thinkers and the greats even in the UPSC exam, everyone has shared their stories and I from their experiences have picked them from, they, from their experiences and uh, based on that experiences I shaped my journey. So I thank you uh, to them and I hope that I can share my journey in a way that can be beneficial. Even some of us can pick up few points which can be beneficial in one way or another in clearing any exam or any stage or any point of the exam where one feels underconfident. Then. I would feel that it is more honor to me than clearing this exam because it is all about hame dusro ko samjhana hai hame dusro ko guidance deni hai kyunki humne bhi kisi stage pe kisi se kisi point pe guidance li thi since it was my first attempt i do not have much more to offer than the other candidates it was, uh, al although it was a good journey, but a short journey. So uh, whatever I could observe from my experiences, I can uh, offer. And I cannot guarantee that these experiences are the only experiences. As Socrates said, that we can only know the extent that we do not know. So the same goes with me. Ki I can only tell that what I uh, I'm very doubtful of in this exam and I think that is the beauty of this exam is that there is no one solution, no, no one idea and no one prescription, no one medicine to solve the disease, to, to cure the disease, to find the solution uh, and I think that is the beauty because we are all unique individuals, we have different backgrounds. Hum, अलग तरीके से पढ़ाई करते हैं हमारा एजुकेशन हमारे पेरेंट्स एक अलग हर एक का एक अलग जर्नी होती है हम अलग चीजें पिकअप करते हैं अपने चाइल्डहुड से अब तक और हमारा सोचने का तरीका इज डिफरेंट तो दैट्स व्हाई देयर इज नो सिंगल और मल्टीपल सॉल्यूशंस टू दिस प्रॉब्लम द प्रॉब्लम इज व्हाट 
is clearing this exam. Uh, so that is my observation number one. Now uh, I would, I have some like before starting the talk, I just sat down or many socha ki what should I tell because uh, I don't have anything new to tell because what has already been told has been applied. Harek ko strategy, book list or padne ka tarika in sab ka kafi had tak abhas hota hai. Theek hai? Or uh, if I can, agar main same cheeze reiterate karta hu bar 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 bar, to it gets boring. Or uh, if everyone knows the same things, kya cheeze padni hai, kaise padni hai, kitne kya strategy honi chahiye answer writing ke, which is a good like everyone should know these things but knowing is not enough uh, and I felt that there is something different that I can offer uh, and something different that has helped me apart from the knowing the, the strategy as everyone says ki the details are very important the details in what we do are very important हम स्ट्रेटजी के बारे में बातें करते हैं हम बुक लिस्ट के बारे में बातें करते हैं बट दे आर दे दे मेक अस फील गुड कि दे मेक अस फील गुड इन अ वेरी सुपरफिशियल मैनर दैट वी आर नाउ स्टार्टिंग द प्रिपरेशन दैट वी आर आर वी डूइंग गुड बट द एक्चुअल एफर्ट लाइज इन द इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ दैट स्ट्रेटजी और उसमें आई थिंक द फोकस शुड बी मोर एंड with that in thought, I hope ki, uh, I can shed some few details on uh, what, how we can improve that implementation part on few sections of the exam. Uh, and uh, I feel that if someone can pick up something from this, then it would be uh, a pleasure for me. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, so just so a disclaimer that I will not be talking about the book list and the strategy. Uh, if, if someone has questions, of course, everyone is uh, welcome to do so. Aap sakte hain. Lekin my focus would be uh, talking about the essence of why is this exam uh, so hyped about in, in the every silliest manner that we can think of. Why is this exam and what does this exam actually require? So from my experience, I understand that uh, the foremost condition for this is that we should have a clear thought process, our way of thinking rather than a thinking that has been uh, adapted or uh, I don't know, probably learned or memorized from any other book or someone else, uh, as it is said that all the learning is self-taught. Even the coaching helps, the guidance is great. They help us guide in the way, but the real path jo hume aage chalna hota hai, wo hume khud karna hota hai. So, us process mein, uh, what I think is that if har ek ka ek apna thought process hai if that process if that thought thinking process is very very original original means what does the original mean original means that we are not relying on a learned idea ki humne kal parso koi kitab padhi or if someone asks us ki what was the thing then our mind switches back to that to that book to give the answer Original is that thoughts are coming from our experiences on our own. Now it is not to say ki original ke liye aap cheeze mat padho. Actually whatever I am speaking or whatever uh, your learning, your stage of uh, experiences is, everything is acquired, right? Everyone can agree on that. Ki hum school mein jate hai, we maths study maths. Now 2 plus 2 is 4 is very very intuitive. But at some point of time we picked it up. But now if someone asks us why, what is 2 plus 3, 
then that is an original thought because we intuitively do it five. We do not memorize that it is five, right? So, with this analogy, ke saath, I feel that the thought process hai, after reading the book list, after uh, doing your due diligence on many parts, I feel that the, the thought process is should be very very original. Now, why does the exam check that? First of all, it checks in many many stages. Uh, I am told that uh, majority of hair are preparing for the 2023 uh, uh, exam. And uh, now it is very very good because you are uh, you have time and you have time to calibrate yourself you have uh, the mindset also to align your preparation to align your thinking in the way uh, agar if i would be talking to you in the later stages of the preparation ki your exam is coming in two or three months then probably i would be speaking in a some different tone but now that since everyone is receptive here, receptive to new ideas, so I feel ki we can talk at length about uh, what is original thinking, what is logic, what is uh, the idea of developing the creative thinking, uh, developing the analytical thinking. Now, there is one common thing in this is that thinking. Now, this is not uh, the time of school exams. Unfortunately, uh, or fortunately, uh, sometimes it happens so ki we focus so much on the marks ki we uh, fluke the process. We fluke the process of learning. So, in learning ke process, mein we try to take a shortcut. Now, that shortcut is to not to apply mind, <coughs> but memorizing, but learning things by rote. We read things in the books mein, with the intention that if this thing came to the exam, mein gai, would we be able to reproduce it? Now, that is good because it gives us marks. Uh, and it has given us marks in our schools. Nobody taught us how to uh, think because there was no exam or no classes or no subject for thinking in itself. Many people are now told that uh, the idea of being IQ, uh, of, of having different varied IQs, that every one has a different IQ from childhood. Someone is average, someone is below average, someone is above average, someone is a genius. So, we automatically give this mindset from childhood. And we are automatically fed these ideas or we are put down into the categories ki agar hum below average honge to we would always stay below average no matter what kind of work we put in and i think this mindset is very very toxic toxic because ki it restricts uh, our thinking or subconsciously it affects socho agar aap bachpan mein if your teacher tells you that you are not good at public speaking even if you were or sometimes you are speaking in the in the class and someone asks a question or aap bolte ho ki or sometimes ki aap stutter kar jate ho let's say then your teacher makes fun of 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 that thing or probably uh, criticizes you then subconsciously in the psyche of the child ek aisa um, a complex create ho jata hai jiski wajah se he or she starts to think ki uh, the public speaking aspect, the public speaking skill is what is lagged, is what is lacking in the personality. So these is the example of one thing, but these things are many that we continuously pick up in our socialization process. We are born and after that we are studying, we meet with friends, we go to school. In that we pick up small, small traits, whether good or bad, and that ultimately shape us. But then people categorize us in the buckets of IQs, in buckets of talented versus not talented. And that is a very, very self-defeating idea because her cheese is uh, learned, her cheese is adapted from the environment. So if we have adapted, let's say, 
the process of thinking then kuch na kuch methods rahe honge jiski wajah se hame sochna acha aaya agar koi maths mein acha hai to iska ye matlab nahi hai ki uska uh, dimag tez hai but ye hai ki usko uh, ek process uh, jo maths ki learning ka process hai he or she was more uh, receptive to to that process to he or she sometimes picks up that process intuitively और कुछ लोग नहीं करते हैं उस प्रोसेस को इंट्यूटिवली सो इट्स ऑल अबाउट पिकिंग अप दैट प्रोसेस बट इट्स इट्स नेवर अबाउट द आइडिया ऑफ कि यू आर बोर्न इन टू बींग बिलो एवरेज स्टूडेंट सो दैट इज नंबर टू कि वी शुड हैव द कंसेप्ट ऑफ ऑफ नॉट हैव ऑफ नॉट हैविंग अ फिक्स माइंड सेट वी शुड ऑलवेज हैव अ ग्रोथ माइंड सेट नाउ वट इज अ ग्रोथ माइंड सेट ग्रोथ माइंड सेट मीन्स कि हम हर चीज़ें वी कैन लर्न एवरी थिंग इंक्लूडिंग ऑल द स्किल्स दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड इन द यू पी एस सी एग्जाम कैन बी लर्न कैन बी एक्वायर्ड एंड दैट अप्लाइज फॉर एवरी इंडिविजुअल एवरी पर्सन ऑल दो दाइम फॉर द लर्निंग कैन कुड वेरी राइट हर एक का एक अपना स्कीमा होता है जिससे वो चीज़ें लेट से फॉर एग्जाम्पल If I have read physics, because my option is physics, वो was physics. So uh, I read physics in eleventh and twelfth. Then there is this book by Stephen Hawking, A Brief History of Time. Now, मैं उस किताब को तीन घंटे में ख़त्म कर दूँगा इसलिए क्योंकि मैंने physics के concepts eleventh and twelfth में पढ़े थे. That does not mean कि मुझे physics में मेरा दिमाग तेज चलता है इट्स जस्ट दैट आई वाज एक्सपोज टू फिजिक्स अर्लियर राइट तो एक प्रोसेस है एक 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 एक्सपोजर है जो uh, लोगों का जो स्कीमा जो है वो डेवलप हो जाता है जिसकी वजह से दे आर एबल टू लर्न थिंग्स फास्टर बट अल्टीमेटली द पॉइंट इज इफ यू डेवलप द स्कीमा देन यू कैन लर्न थिंग्स इन वेरी लेस क्विक टाइम विदाउट also putting in uh, needless hard work although hard work is very very uh, crucial component of success but needless hard work or uh, mindless hard work sometimes can be counter productive to so upsc mein hi everyone says ki you should focus on the concepts on the principles on the theory first and then do the current affairs and then uh, when the when the question comes some tend to do good in that uh, and some टेंड नॉट टू डू रिलेटिवली वेल इट्स जस्ट दैट हर एक का एक स्कीमा है किसी का अच्छा डेवलप हुआ है किसी का कम डेवलप हुआ है और ऑल दी फाउंडेशनल जो प्रिंसिपल्स हैं दैट डिपेंड्स ऑन दी स्कीमा नाउ हाउ डू वी डेवलप दैट स्कीमा हाउ डू वी डेवलप दैट बेस दैट इज दैट रिक्वायर्स अ प्रोसेस फॉर स्टडिंग फॉर थिंकिंग एंड समाइम्स हम हमारे लिए जो चीज़ें आसान होती हैं करनी माइट नॉट बी दी बेस्ट वे ऑफ डूइंग थिंग्स हम हमेशा कंफर्ट uh, जोन सीखते हैं ठीक है तो हम हमारे लिए जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल हमें एग्ज़ाम्स क्रैक करने थे तो वी लर्न कि अगर हम क्वेश्चन आंसर्स के रट्टे मार के uh, रट्टे मार कर अगर टीचर के पास जाते हैं तो शी वुड गिव अस गुड मार्क्स तो वी लर्न कि मेमोराइजिंग is equal to getting good score in exam and we hoped that this process is going to be the same uh, forever but later on we realize ki uh, this does not work but how do we change that because humne us cheez ko apne aap ke sath train kar diya hai for the past i would say around uh, 15 years and how do we unlearn that kind of uh, thinking Uh, so that is not easy first of all uh, but we should be very very open to new ideas and new processes or usi ke sath i would be pivoting uh, my talk on this specific aspect in general or uh, us specific thinking ko fir then i would relate to the prelims to the mains or also in some parts to the interview uh, and hoping that aap because you have plenty of time Uh, you can pick up some ideas from that and you can apply in your implementation so rather than 
uh, fretting about fretting so much about the strategy of doing things uh, you are now focusing on how to uh, how to have the perfect stroke for example when we are swimming uh, you can always think of doing good ki aap uh, you are you are swimming the pool in less amount of time now you are reading you are seeing youtube videos on how to do that you are seeing toppers videos ki uh, he is a gold medalist then uh, uska kaise swim karne ka tarika tha but when you actually go into the pool then you would realize ki itni sari cheeze hain that can be worked upon or uh, this implementation is the idea of swimming the perfect stroke that can be swum Uh, which would be the perfect for you and not for someone else now uh, taking the analogy further swimming mein there is this idea of gliding forward uh, and gliding forward was not known to people uh, for example when we are doing freestyle so uh, i so pardon me i am taking it a bit of course but i think the analogy would help so let's say we are swimming and uh, we are doing freestyles and in freestyles there is this idea of gliding forward in every stroke now this idea was not known to the peop- uh, not known to even the gold medalists in the olympics till 1998 till 2002 until an australian swimmer uh, started swimming this technique in 2002 or usne he gained a lead of one lap in the competition of around 8 laps so that everyone picked up because there is something that this guy has to offer and then now the freestyle technique in olympics is the way which that guy did in 2002 now that is how uh, things work things um, iteratively improve over the time and the same goes with upsc as well ki har ek has everyone to offer to learn from the past experiences but then you can increase you can add further and then you can also share to the community that is doing the uh, doing the preparation okay so first of all uh, i would just start with a few points for example let's say let's say we are reading things so what we are doing is we are seeing the information from the books aapki book list hai aapne chapter open kiya then you start seeing new concepts for example uh, to be very specific you you say you are reading about panchayati raj for someone who is a fresher it is a very new thing now uh, he or she reads up that uh, that topic and uh, completes the topic and becomes happy that he or she knows about panchayati raj uh, then earlier right then uh, she would or he or she would move to other topic uh, and then follow the same process again now let's say the all all the topics are done and uh, then the and then comes the idea of revision now what would be the simple strategy would be again go back to the topic do the same thing do the revision uh, by rereading whatever has been written in the book and uh, do all the topics and uh, increase the number of revisions or uh, then people count for or aspire ki matlab hum agar 10 revision kar lenge to hoping ki they are able to assimilate the information or uh, when the time comes in the exam they are able to write or even fill the fill the correct blank now this is the the common strategy that people think uh, which works which works for many but now studies have shown that doing the process again and again reiteratively rereading the things again and again uh, without applying your mind to it sometimes uh, would only result in uh in increasing the time to learn that thing also it requires more effort to put in uh, and sometimes it's very very uh, less productive so so that is the thing that where you need to or one where one needs to change their strategy of how to think because 
जो माइंड है माइंड हैज़ टू बी अप्लाइड एट एवरी स्टेज इवन वाइल रीडिंग द बुक वन हैज़ टू अप्लाई द माइंड एंड देर आर मैनी मैनी टेक्निक्स फॉर डूइंग दैट और उसी की टेक्निक्स के बारे में आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट सो आई विल बी डूइंग लिटिल बिट ऑफ पेंटिंग हेयर सो देर इज दिस ट्री एंड देर आर दिस लाइक दिस इज द स्टेम ऑफ द ट्री and then there are different different branches of the tree uh, and uh, on these branches there are different different leaves here the leaves are green chlorophyll why is chlorophyll green anyone so the apart from green stuff all the colors are checked back the the chlorophyll is presently plastic yes exactly uh, round of applause for uh, what's in it i also did not know that <laughs> no just, i'm joking i knew that so there are many many leaves on this tree now let's say that this is the tree of knowledge right Uh, tree of knowledge uh, now these are the facts these are the adding points for example when we are doing polity uh, this is the term of the president let's say 6 uh, 5 years and impeachment process and all of these uh, this is the idea of let's say what is president and all the 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 stems and this is the polity in general how things work indian uh, parliamentary system and all now what people tend to focus initially when they read first is that they focus too much on on these facts on these leaves uh, or uske chakkar mein they think that agar hum is process mein hum inko yaad kar lenge to they can score good in exams so the key word here is yaad kar lenge uh, that i think is very very Uh, counter intuitive uh, as i said ki uh, it is not very productive uh, and studies have shown that ki matlab uh, understanding the thing without applying your mind uh, does not lead to your own ideas so you would all the time be speaking someone's else thoughts speaking lakshmikant's thoughts in the paper rather than your own thoughts so the the process has to flow like this for example uh, when you are reading the first time you should only think of the main concept that is written uh, that is written in the book and leave it like with a and go like this with every iteration that you do that uh, agar aap let's say you are in a fourth stage of reading when people say ki they are in the fourth stage of reading then uh, all the things um that are required to know below this below this line are known already matlab aap ye nahi expect kar sakte ki you know about uh, president term but you do not know what is what does the principle of sovereignty mean so this is the thing that has to be kept in mind is that first of all as people say uh, you should first focus on the main ideas uh and then apply uh, your mind later on on these ideas and then uh, later on move on the facts right uh, so for example if one reads a newspaper one sees an editorial then most of the people they 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 try ki yaar ye fact kaam aa sakta hai ye fact kaam aa sakta hai in the initial stages or then they have this scattered information in their brain so this is the brain and they have their scattered information like here 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 and this is the uh, exam and they require a structured information now when you are applying your mind your brain in the exam itself that would take time because aapki information is very very sc- scattered और उस इन्फॉर्मेशन को स्ट्रक्चर लाना इज़ द गोल उस इन्फॉर्मेशन को 
को स्ट्रक्चर करने के लिए इज वट आई वुड बी डिस्कसिंग तो देर आर मैनी मैनी स्ट्रैटीज आई थिंक एवरी वन नोज लिटल बिट ऑफ दीज स्ट्रैटीज इवन बट बट अगेन द पॉइंट इज कि एवरी वन नोज ओनली द द पॉइंट इज कि अप्लाइंग दीज दीज स्ट्रैटीज एंड वन डिस्कलेमर इज दैट दीज थिंग्स विल टेक टाइम विल टेक टाइम आपकी हमेशा से टेंडेंसी रहेगी कि अप्लाई अगेन जो भी पढ़ा है uh, फिर से जल्दी से सिलेबस ख़त्म करना और मेमोराइज uh, करना बिकॉज इट वर्कस इट हैज़ वर्कड सो इट विल वर्क बट और आपका दिमाग थिंकिंग कम लगाना uh, और uh, uh, लेकिन If you trust this process, uh, then the long term में जो आपका effort है वो कम लगने वाला है And second of all is कि आपको extra effort के ज- जैसे revisions हैं वो कम लगेंगे And most importantly is that कि you will be having your own ideas, opinions on the things that is very very important. In the mains exam, I think. Uh, everyone would agree here is that what matters is ki aap kitne number of points likhte hain and the quality of those points uh, depend on uh, aapka original thought kya hai aap logically cheeze soch pa rahe ho aur uh, those points you cannot remember you cannot remember you cannot hope to go in the exam and see ki i will remember all the points and then and then just write all these uh, all these uh, points uh, and even if let's say all the questions comes theek okay? hai even if you try to remember everything under the sun uh, then there is always this element of element of uncertainty ki matlab there comes this question jiska aapne uh, ab tak you you have not learned that question uh, you have not memorized that thing uh, or fir how would you tackle us cheez ko us cheez ko kaise tackle karoge तो अगेन उसमें नॉलेज गायब हो जाएगी एंड uh, uh, फिर से यू वुड अगेन बी रिक्वायरिंग द आइडिया ऑफ लॉजिक स्पेशली मेंस एग्जाम में देर आर ऑलवेज वेरी मेनी क्वेश्चंस जिसमें फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चन इट यू कैन पिक हिंट्स कि मुझे मैं आंसर कर सकता हूं लेकिन आई डोंट नोट आई डोंट हैव द डायरेक्ट आइडिया कि ये क्वेश्चन में लाइक यू डू नॉट हैव द फैक्ट्स एंड फिगर्स बट यू कैन राइट अ जेनरिक आंसर सो that art of doing things is what you should develop in this one year of uh, or one and a half year two years of uh, thinking aur aap ye socho ki agar aap apna brain you are using every time you are studying every time you are rev- uh, revising now what does it uh, what does the idea of applying your brain mean kya agar hum lakshmikant pad rahe hain does that mean ki we are using our mind uh, it does not because uh, there is this concept of passive reading where we are just reading the lines uh, if we find good line then we highlight that then we move uh, forward we are not actively applying our mind right so so uh, that is the tree of knowledge that we are trying to build here and the ultimate focus should be understanding the complete tree uh, but that has to be done gradually agar aap over you are you are over focusing on these leaves or these stems without knowing ki where are they connected uh, what does it mean what what does the roots mean to automatically aapka structure miss ho jayega and everyone says ki means ke answers mein you need a structure you need a structured way of thinking even in interview even in prelims there is that ki matlab uh, if you have a structure of your let's say people think that he or she has a very clear way of thinking uh, writing improves the thinking process when you write more you improve your thinking capability because you write your own ideas right to usi process mein we are just applying that we are picking the same ideas in our uh, exercise um, so so then again comes ki what we are doing is first of all i will just highlight with a different pen uh, so so 
सो अवर फोकस शुड बी ऑन लर्निंग रादर देन ऑन मेमोराइजिंग एंड ऑटोमेटिकली इफ वी आर लर्निंग थिंग्स देन वी कैन यूज इट क्रिएटिवली इन एनी इन एनी वे वी 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 वॉन्ट टू फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट क्रिएटिव वे ऑफ थिंकिंग राइट सो क्रिएटिव वे ऑफ थिंकिंग में इट मीन्स कि यू आर नॉट रेस्ट्रिक्टेड बाई वट एवर यू हैव रेड इन इन लक्ष्मीकांत आप अपने आइडियाज भी डाल सकते हो यू आर आपने किसी अपना पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंसिस देखे होंगे और दैट यू कैन रिलेट इन यूर आंसर या इन इन एस ए दिस इज क्रिएटिव वे ऑफ थिंकिंग विच इज़ नॉट रेस्ट्रिक्टेड टू वन सोर्स और ऑल्सो उसका दूसरा नाम होता है आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स थिंकिंग बट वी ऑल्सो डोंट नो वेयर द बॉक्स लाइज सो इट मीन्स की क्रिएटिव थिंकिंग वेयर वी आर इंटर लिंकिंग मैनी आइडियाज एंड नाउ देयर इज अ ट्रेंड इन द क्वेश्चन आर स्पेशली इन प्रिलियम्स एंड ऑल्सो इन द मेन्स एग्जाम इंटरव्यू में तो होता ही है कि यू आपको इंटर कनेक्शन ऑफ द थिंग्स इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट गोन इज द टाइम वेयर क्वेश्चन आर आस्ट ऑन वन की वर्ड ऑफ द सिलेबस नाउ दी क्वेश्चन आर आस्ट ऑन इंटर लिंकेज ऑफ द की वर्ड्स ऑफ द सिलेबस एंड दैट रिक्वायर्स मोर थिंकिंग मोर एनालिटिकल कैपेबिलिटीज एंड दैट इज वट यू शुड बी वर्किंग अपॉन ठीक है नाउ नाउ वी वुड कन्वर्स टू दी एग्जैक्ट वे कि हाउ शुड वी डूइंग थिंग्स सो लेट्स टेक अ मटीरियल फर्स्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव अ बुक right we have something written on this now this is the first time that you are reading right and then comes the revision part now these have two different strategies to to do these things right now the first uh, is very very important uh, because agar aap ise seedha pad loge which is the passive reading concept now there are many many principles on doing this first of all whenever you start रीडिंग सम टॉपिक या सम चैप्टर तो ऑटोमेटिकली आप अपनी इन्फॉर्मेशन को चेक कीजिए कि डू यू ऑलरेडी नो अबाउट दैट थिंग अगर आप किसी एडिटोरियल के बारे में पढ़ रहे हैं और दैट एडिटोरियल लेट से कम्स अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स तो यू हैव सम इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स राइट और आप उस चीज़ के बारे में सोचिए कि वट डू आई नो टिल नाउ अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स एंड वट आर द पॉसिबल questions that i can frame that i have in my mind about this editorial or or any other topic so first is ki retrieving uh what we already know and that retrieval has to be done it cannot be skipped because otherwise fir se we would go again into the mode of not applying our mind uh for example when we are reading about um uh, again i would go to the example of president or let's make let's take a more crude example of uh, of landslides or let's say uh, criminal criminalization of politics right so uh, rather than re- reading the topic you should think ऑन योर ओन कि वट डज इट मीन और उस आर्टिकल में क्या क्या चीज़ें लिखी हो सकती हैं अप्लाई यूर माइंड टू दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नाउ हाउ डू यू डू दैट यू कैन यूज यू कैन आस्क मैनी क्वेश्चन ऑन उस टॉपिक के बारे में कि वट इज क्रिमिनलाइजेशन ऑफ पॉलिटिक्स वट डज एमरजेंसी पावर्स मीन नाउ वट वाई ये सब चीज़ें हाउ वेन ये सब चीज़ें विल गिव यू एन आइडिया कि वट कि मतलब आपके दिमाग में क्वेश्चन क्रिएट हो जाएंगे जैसे अगेन इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स तो हाउ मैनी इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स परसेंटेज वाइज आर देयर इन इंडिया दैट इज़ क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सेकेंड इज़ कि वट इज़ गवर्नमेंट डूइंग फॉर द इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स क्वेश्चन नंबर टू थर्ड इज़ कि वट इज मेंट बाई इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स इज इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल रियली इलेक्ट्रिक बिकॉज द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज नॉट Uh, actually renewable right so wo questions is the way ki matlab aap automatically aapke paas kuch answers honge and then when you read the article then comes the 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 reading stage uh, then you go into the reading stage right 
and at every stage for example you have ki jaise i just asked about the the chlorophyll right so if someone would not have coach the uh, would not have asked the question of why we would have just moved on ki okay chlorophyll is green but uh, we went back and uh, we asked ki matlab uh, what is the reason uh, why it is green to us type ki curiosity uh, chahiye और वो हर स्टेज में चाहिए हर मोमेंट में चाहिए क्योंकि उसी क्यूरियोसिटी की वजह से आपका ब्रेन यूज होगा तो वाइल रीडिंग यूज दैट क्यूरियोसिटी ऑफ वाई ऑफ ऑफ रीडिंग थिंग्स एंड फोर्थ इज कि आफ्टर आफ्टर डूइंग दैट फॉर एग्जांपल आफ्टर डूइंग अ टॉपिक यू जस्ट ट्राई टू रिट्रीव अगेन कि वट हैव यू गेंड इन what have you gained uh, after reading that topic now how you can do that aap kaise pata karenge ki aapne seekha kya ya to aap uski ek summary summary socho dimag mein ki if you can explain the thing in three or four lines to aap usko sabse summary sabse crudest form sabse you would extract the principles of the of the big thing for example uh, richard Feynman he is the physics he was the physics nobel prize winner and uh, i think everyone knows his way of teaching uh, he always says ki when you try to summarize a concept in concise words or you uh, aap us cheez ko kisi bacche ko batane ki koshish kijiye for example asli mein you don't need a kid uh, to aap usko sabse aasan aasan bhasha mein uh, bataoge you would not need the complex चीज़ें फॉर एग्जाम्पल फेडरलिज्म मोस्ट पीपल स्टम्बल की वट एग्जैक्टली इज द मीनिंग ऑफ फेडरलिज्म दे वुड नो इंटर स्टेट रिवर डिस्प्यूट दे वुड नो आर्टिकल टू सिक्सटी थ्री दे वुड नो ऑल द थिंग्स इन द सन रिलेटेड टू फेडरलिज्म बट समाइम्स पीपल मिस आस्किंग द क्वेश्चन ऑफ वट इज फेडरलिज्म राइट तो uh, अगर आप किसी बच्चे को समझाओगे वो चीज़ तो uh, of course the first question is ki i don't understand federalism what is the uh, meaning of federalism of course you know you know it intuitively but putting that into the words requires thinking right agar aap is mental process ko ek bar karoge you might get it wrong uh, in the first try but us process mein hi you have learned uh, your uh, like applying your mind and then आप ये चीज़ें बार बार करोगे तो देन वेन यू सी ऑन मेन्स ऑन द एग्ज़ाम डे एंड द क्वेश्चन कम्स क्वेश्चन कम्स ऑन फेडरलिज्म एंड इट्स एस्पेक्ट्स तो आपका जो थाट प्रोसेस है दैट इज गोइंग टू कम आउट विद योर ओरिजिनल आइडियाज आप इंटिवली यू वुड सी कि इट इज एक्चुअली टू प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू फोर राइट तो दैट इज द वे थिंग्स uh should be done or probably worked uh, for me uh now what what not to what what is inefficient probably i have also experimented uh first is that first is that repeating let's say uh completing the topic without applying aisa bahut bar hota hai ki hum editorial pad lete hain बट एडिटोरियल फिनिश होने के बाद और दूसरे एडिटोरियल पढ़ने लग जाते हैं हमारा न्यूज़पेपर ख़त्म हो जाता है वी बिकम वेरी हैप्पी दैट हमने एक घंटे में वी हैव फिनिश्ड हिंदू और देन नेक्स्ट डे समवन आस्कस कि क्या है व्हाट व्हाट डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड एंड देन वी समाइम्स गो ब्लैंक और इवन इवन आफ्टर रीडिंग वन एडिटोरियल हमें ऐसा लगता है कि डिड वी रियली अंडरस्टैंड वट इज़ रिटन वी आर जस्ट रीडिंग वर्ड्स वी आर नॉट सींग दी आइडियाज थ्रू इट सो दैट हैज़ लाइक दैट शुड नॉट बी डन और आई थिंक टू सम एक्सटेंट ये चीज़ें होती हैं इवन विद मी इट इट वॉज द केस इन माई इनिशियल स्टेज ऑफ प्रिपरेशन और ये जो इंस्टिंक्ट है चीज़ें करना जल्दी से समटाइम्स uh, आ जाता है बीच में बट बट दैट इज़ द पॉइंट वेयर हमें लुक बैक करना है अपने आप पे एंड देन टेक थिंग्स स्लो एंड ग्रैब आइडियाज फ्राम फ्राम एवरी थिंग सो वट इज़ नॉट टू बी डन सो ग्रीन 
actually means not to be done and red means to be done which is uh, sorry for the color coding uh, second is ki highlighting wala jo concept hai ki kai bar hum padhte hain uh, hame jo cheeze lagti hain hum highlight kar dete hain uh, fir uske baad aage nikal jate hain fir highlight kar dete hain just padhte hue hame ye nahi pata hota ki what we are highlighting we are just highlighting things uh, to that also does not work uh, it sometimes makes us feel good but again um it does not work in the in the long run um then what why does it not work in the long run is ki jo wo information hai jo hamare paas gather hoti hai wo fade away ho jati hai matlab uh, humne cheeze let's say you are doing some topic in polity aur aapne you have done lakshmikant then you would be very happy ki aapko lakshmikant aapke polity ke concepts pata hai lekin char panch din baad the the fading away effect starts aapki memory uh, starts to become old aur fir se you you get into the stress stage ki uh, i am not very good in lakshmikant now i need to do that again and i need to do that again aur fir ye uh, fading away ho jati hai which is natural which is natural even while you do uh, this method but if you uh, do without applying your mind to uh, to things jo to jo fading away hai is very very steep matlab itni fast hone wala hai ki uh, you would require multiple revisions for doing that and nobody wants to put uh, hard work more than what is required right matlab like it is a human tendency ki we want to uh, do things in the shortest manner so why uh, do these kind of things which require more hard work right so um so then the then the second phase comes is the revision yes so let's say then you have completed your first uh, stage and then you come back to the topic now the tendency is ki you again reread the the thing and uh, then uh, do that process and then feedback and then do that for around let's say n number of times now i say or what many actually many aspirants do this uh, but us uh, us process ko concretized way mein is what i am telling uh, i think many aspirants might be doing this ki matlab uh, for example again let's say they are reading about president now they are they are revising uh, topic president now that is the point where you apply your mind again without seeing uh, the topic aapko dobara se wo cheeze nahi padhni hai you just start with president here aapko fir se aapke dimag mein jo jo thoughts aaye uh you empty your thoughts in a on a piece of paper or uh, aap boliye un thoughts ko just so that you can f- complete whatever you know now that is the way of recalling or uh, retrieving whatever you know now in this process you are applying your mind number 1 uh, because hum jo bhi cheez sochte hain we think it in a uh, structured manner hamare thoughts random nahi hote hain agar mujhe uh, अगर मुझे फिज़िक्स के में आ, कुछ कंसेप्ट्स हैं जो मुझे समझ नहीं आ रहे हैं और मैं उसमें सफ़र कर रहा हूं और फिर उसके बाद आई एम थिंकिंग अदर कंसेप्ट्स आई एम ट्राइंग टू लिंक अदर कंसेप्ट्स तो वो थॉट प्रोसेस इज अ स्ट्रक्चर्ड वन की बिकॉज दिस हैपेंड देन आई एम डूइंग दिस सो एवरी थाट दैट वी थिंक इज सम हाउ कनेक्टेड राइट तो जब हम बिना देखे चीज़ें स्टार्ट करेंगे वेन वी ट्राई टू रिकॉल दिस थिंग्स then our thought process is very very structured number 1 so so the so the benefits is that automatically structure comes in our thought process right uh, second is ki let's say you are doing president uh, what is president comes the question uh, then on your mind comes ki what are the powers of president uh, then comes the question of um let's say why is president uh, more important or w- why do many uh, countries have monarchy uh, have monarchs and our country has president now this are all the questions that can come up 
इन यूर हेड एंड देर इज़ नो लिमिट टू दिस क्वेश्चन तो आप इस तरीके से यू यू ट्राई टू फिल वट एवर यू नो इंक्लूडिंग वट एवर इज नॉट रिटर्न इन लक्ष्मीकांत और वट एवर सोर्स यू आर रेफरिंग और आप यू ट्राई टू जस्ट फाइंड आउट आंसर्स राइट तो इन दिस प्रोसेस यू आपका एक स्ट्रक्चर क्रिएट हो जाता है फिर उसके बाद आपका रिविजन हो जाता है बिकॉज वट बिकॉज वट यू आर डूइंग इज आप आप चीज़ें यू आर रिकॉलिंग इट फ्रॉम योर मेमोरी राइट एंड द थर्ड थिंग इज कि आपको नेक्स्ट टाइम रिविजन में ये सब चीज़ें याद रहेंगी मतलब रिविजन टाइम रिड्यूस एंड यू यू और आप ये चीज़ें यू वुड स्टार्ट टू लिंक दिस कंसेप्ट टू द न्यू कंसेप्ट तो तो इन चीज़ों से ऑटोमेटिकली तीन फायदे हो रहे हैं बट वन वन डाउन साइड ऑफ दिस इज कि इट टेक्स टाइम इट टेक्स टाइम इट टेक्स मेंटल एनर्जी इस चीज़ के लिए और एंड देन सो सो दीज आर द प्रोज एंड कॉन्स फॉर दिस बट नेक्स्ट टाइम लेट से दैट यू हैव डन दिस एक्सरसाइज देन यू गो एंड गो टू दी चैप्टर ऑफ प्रेजिडेंट इन लक्ष्मीकांत एंड देन यू सी नाउ When you see after doing this exercise, आप वो वो चीज़ें देखोगे जो आपको नहीं आती थी लेट से आप भूल गए कि वट आर द पावर्स ऑफ प्रेजिडेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आप वट एवर एनर्जी यू हैव यू यू ट्राई यू ट्राई टू यूज़ यूर लॉजिक कि क्या क्या पावर्स हो सकती हैं खुद से सोचो उनको कम्प्लीट करने की कोशिश करो देन आप लक्ष्मीकांत देखोगे तो आपके दिमाग में हमेशा एक ऐसा थॉट आएगा कि ओके दिस इज द थिंग वेयर मैंने वेयर मुझसे ये वाला लॉजिक लगा नहीं था तो आपको क्लियरली आइडेंटिफाई हो जाएगा नाउ वर्सेस दी सिनारियो आप नॉर्मल रिवीजन कर रहे हो तो आप चीज़ें पढ़ रहे हो आप प्रेसिडेंट की पावर्स पढ़ रहे हो वो पावर्स आपको फेमिलियर वो कंसेप्ट आपको फेमिलियर तो ज़रूर दिखेंगे आपको फील गुड भी होगा कि हाँ मुझे आइडिया था इस चीज़ के बारे में बट वेन द टाइम वेन द पुश कम्स टू शॉव वेन द टाइम कम्स इन दी मेन्स राइटिंग दी एग्ज़ाम राइटिंग दी पॉइंट्स आपको वो पॉइंट्स uh, हो सकता है कि यू यू कुड नॉट यूज़ योर लॉजिक इन दिस सो दिस इज़ द डिफरेंस दिस इज़ द डिफरेंस दैट इज़ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन इन एवरी स्टेज ऑफ एग्जाम इंक्लूडिंग दी प्रिलिम्स एंड स्पेशली इन दी मेन्स तो सो सो आई वॉज टेलिंग की मतलब वेन यू रीड दी द चैप्टर आपका दिमाग वुड बी पिन पॉइंटेड ऑन 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 दैट फैक्ट्स कि आपने जो मिस कर दिए थे ठीक है और फिर जब आप मिस करोगे तो आप सोचोगे कि वाई कुड नॉट आई थिंक दिस ऑन माई ओन ठीक है इन दैट प्रोसेस आपने एक और चीज़ सीख ली यू डेवलप्ड अनदर लॉजिक राइट और फिर वेन द नेक्स्ट इटरेशन ऑफ द रिविजन कम्स तो ऑटोमेटिकली आपको जो पिछली बार चीज़ें लिखी गई थी वो तो याद हैं ही हैं लेकिन उसके साथ में आपको एक्स्ट्रा जो लीव्स हैं वो आसानी से याद हो जाएंगी तो इन दिस वे यू कैन डेवलप यूर ट्री ऑफ नॉलेज नाउ वन इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग इज कि फॉर गेटिंग इज ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट जब तक हम फॉर गेट नहीं करेंगे तब तक हम अपना माइंड नहीं लगाएंगे लेट से इफ़ आई रीड अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स टुडे ई वीज एंड आई आई रीड एन एडिटोरियल एंड द नेक्स्ट डे आई राइट एन एस ए ऑन इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स राइट सो मोस्ट ऑफ द आइडियाज जो होंगे वो मेरे लिमिटेड हो जाएंगे क्योंकि मैंने पिछले दिन इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स के बारे में पढ़ा था तो सम हाउ इन माई शॉर्ट टर्म मेमरी वो कंसेप्ट रहेंगे और उसकी वजह से माय ऐसे वुड नॉट बी एज क्रिएटिव एज एज इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल एज एज वट आई वुड हैव रिटन बट गिव सम टाइम टू इट लेट से यू फॉर गेट वट यू हैव लर्न और वट यू हैव मेमोराइज और यू आर राइटिंग अनदर ऐसे ऑन ऑन इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स सेवन डेज लेटर तो उसमें आप ऐसे ऐसे आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स आइडियाज ला सकते हो Uh, जो प्रोबली एक दिन बाद नहीं आ पाए दिस इज़ वेरी वेरी काउंटर इंटिव एंड दैट इज़ वाई आई गेस फॉर गेटिंग इज़ ऑल्सो अ पार्ट ऑफ रिविजन मतलब यू कैन नॉट एक्सपेक्ट कि आप हर चीज़ याद रखो हर मोमेंट में और ऐसा हो भी नहीं सकता वी आर नॉट मशीन्स वी आर नॉट वी आर थिंकिंग मशीन्स एक्चुअली वी हैव दी केपेबिलिटी ऑफ जनरेटिंग आवर ओन न्यू आइडियाज़ 
uh, artificial intelligence is coming but uh, not to the stage ki hum cheeze uh, we have the new thoughts so that is where the thinking process can be developed and forgetting uh, f- uh, forgetting these concepts is also a key component of revision so this is very very counterintuitive but trust me when you do this you would also realize ki aap out of the box cheeze bhi soch pa rahe ho aur is process mein aap kuch cheeze extra bhi likh loge jaise let's say aapko khud se ek idea aaya president ke bare mein like new president is uh, new president elections are coming and then you and then you have some new thoughts about this which is not written in lakshmi gaan uh, you you might know about some movie related to uh, to some presidential election about donald trump aapko ye cheeze yaad aa jayengi to is process mein aapko ek complete structured way of thinking develop ho jayegi aur uh, that is i guess uh this cycle would should work first you should uh, use your mind in first of all in what am i reading using the questions second is then you should read then third is ki you should tr- try to look back on what i have read uh, and there are many methods to do that one of them is summarizing but not the only one uh, you can test many other methods jo aapke dimag mein hote hain then comes the stage of revision Uh, in the revision you should try to uh, link uh, what you have learned with the already learned information old information or new information ki jo linkage karoge usse neurons ke connections strong honge strong honge to aapka jo a- analytical capability hai wo bhi strong ho jayegi to is process se is one way of doing it then automatically jo aapka back end force jo process chalne wala hai cheezon mein this रिड्यूसेस द टाइम ऑल दो एक प्रोसेस में टाइम इंक्रीज होने वाला है लेकिन द नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स यू आप जो चीज़ें करने वाले हो वो ड्रास्टिकली रिड्यूस एंड मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंटली इसकी आपका थाट ओरिजिनल होने वाला है तो तो दैट इज वन वे सेकेंड सो दिस इज लाइक दिस इज फॉर एक्यूमलेटिंग न्यू इंफॉर्मेशन ग्रोइंग दैट tree forward right now let's say we have grown that tree now how do we test ourselves um people say that testing or practice makes a man perfect so practice what does practice mean this is where the test series comes in aap jitne zyada test karoge uh, and and be very mindful ki by a number of tests i mean ki number of varied questions that you can ask yourselves uh so that is where testing is very very important aap mind ko ek alag tarike se sochne uh, ki condition mein expose karte ho to isiliye testing is very very important um and uh, and yes there is also one myth that ki matlab at some point of time everyone feels ki there is a limit to number of facts or number of ideas or number of concepts one can remember ye ek ye ye ek pervasive thought ho jata hai uh, because we know so much because the syllabus itself is already vast and the books and all these sources are also vast to aisa lagta hai ki there is also a limit in our Uh, I, i don't know probably thinking capacity or memorizing capacity ki hame ek limited information is we can store in our brain but it's not about storing it's about generating new information with the limited information to actually mein jo jo sphere of thinking hai wo actually mein infin- infinite hai although it seems finite actually mein you can use these two uh, neurons to generate new ideas and you can expand this sphere to aap n number of n n can tend to infinity up in n number of cheeze you can uh, increase um, and so ye main ek important point uh, batana chahta hu ki ki knowing many things uh, would not reduce your knowing capacity so there is no limit in knowing things or uh, you, when you learn new things you try to link it with the old things or aise cheeze Uh, will be easier. Your sphere of knowing will increase, and also 
वैन यू आर डूइंग थिंग्स प्लीज़ Uh, आप अपनी एक स्ट्रैटी खुद की बनाइए क्योंकि एवरी इंडिविजुअल इज़ यूनिक और प्लीज़ डू नॉट सबमिट टू टू दी टू वट एवर इन्फॉर्मेशन इज़ रिटन इन द बुक्स इफ़ सम बुक से इज दैट वाई वाई डज एमरजेंसी हैपन और समथिंग लाइक क्लोरोफिल इज़ ग्रीन देन यू क्वेश्चन दैट थिंग प्लीज़ डू नॉट सबमिट योर सेल्फ ओनली टू द नॉलेज दैट इज़ रिटन इन द बुक्स that is that that should be given uh, should be done and also uh, you should focus more on the process and not on the outcome aap aise cheeze bar bar karoge aap har cheez mein increase kar sakte ho apni efficiency to aap automatically you would see ki uh, like you are aapki jo vices hain for example people say ki meri answer writing is not very uh, good because i am not able to think a lot of new points Uh, yeah i am not able to pick the right option in the prelims because i am not able to see through the 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 logic that has been set in the prelims exam to ye cheeze would would become your second nature agar aap aise cheeze uh, continue karoge apni practice mein theek hai uh, and uh, i think that is all uh, from from my side and uh, i would be very happy agar if someone has uh, learned something today uh, probably and uh, thank you very much thank you very much